In this video, I want to discuss the views a bit further before we continue on with our drawing. So when I select the initial parent view or my front view, I can see it's using the sheet scale. I can see my display style here. I have the high quality turned on. And if I go up to my top view, down here for the display style, the checkbox is turned on to use parent style. We can change that if we wish. We can uncheck this and then I can change its style to not show hidden lines or to one of the any other standards that I like. For now I'm going to leave it as use the parent style and I can do this for each view. I can use the parent scale and style or I can use a different style and a different scale for each view. However, I would strongly encourage you not to use anything but the sheet scale for your views. The other view that every sheet, in my opinion, should have is the isometric view. Our goal of making a good drawing is that the person making the part can clearly read that and visualize what they need to make. The isometric view will help them clearly visualize what they must make. So I can add an isometric view several ways. I can select my front view and then I can come up to the drawing ribbon and tell it I want to make a projected view of that and then whichever projected view I would like I can get. So here I can get my isometric view and I can click to place it and then I can click to tell it I'm done with that. Now it's an isometric view so its alignment isn't locked to the parent view as these two views are. And for the isometric view I'm going to change its display style to shade it with edges so as soon as I choose that, it unchecks Use Parent Style, and I'm also going to make it a high quality view, and I'm going to say OK. The isometric view is one of the few views where it's fine to change its scale so it just fits on the sheet nicely out of the because no one should be measuring it to figure out a future size. If I wish to delete a view from my sheet, I just get near the view, click so it's selected. So when I see that box, it's selected, and I'm going to push Delete on my keyboard and say yes and I've deleted the view. So the other way I can add my isometric view is to come over here to the view palette and I can look for the isometric view or any standard view. I'm going to uncheck import design annotations and I'm going to click and hold on the isometric view and then I'm going to drag and drop it into my sheet and again I'm going to set its display style to shade it with edges and high quality and say OK. So those are the minimum views I would expect to see on any drawing. And in the next video, we'll discuss why is the title block blank and the notes and material not populated when I added a material to this.